Meteorologist Dave Warren here, CBS 4 Weather Control, and another hot and humid day again uh, for Thursday, but uh, the heat and humidity combined pushing the heat index over 100 degrees again. Uh, right now we're on our way down, upper 90s is about uh, 645, still have some sunshine, just a few clouds off the coast. We peaked into the lower 90s, but the story was that heat index, it was over 100 degrees. Drink plenty of fluids, hydrate throughout the day, avoid exertion during the heat of the day, which could be anywhere from about 10 to say 3, 4 in the afternoon. That's when the heat index will be highest. Take frequent breaks and find some shade or air conditioning to uh, stay cool. Uh, that southeast breeze continues tomorrow, so we get these showers developing on that sea breeze. And they're inland uh, with a few storms developing uh, by Thursday afternoon. Now, as the wind direction changes, we do see the timing of these afternoon storms uh, get a little later. Uh, there's the afternoon and evening storms, which favor the east coast as opposed to the Gulf Coast. There they are, picked up by the computer forecast, uh, so they can actually work their way back across the area as they continue to intensify. Another thing that may develop is in the tropics, just about a 20% chance over the next five days. South Cape Verde Islands moving west through the tropical Atlantic. Late shower, but otherwise warm and humid, down to 81 degrees. 93 degrees again, hot and humid with more storms that work their way inland. Heat index values feeling like it's 100 to 105. Uh, southeast wind about 5 to 10 knots for the lobster mini season uh, continues. And uh, we will see that temperature actually climb a few degrees, but the humidity might be a little lower. The key is the late storms as opposed to the midday storms, which push inland uh, both Saturday and Sunday. Sunny with storms on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Temperature still a few degrees above 90 degrees.